this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Yo guys, welcome back to KGF TV. I'm on my own actually. I'm on my own today. Um, we are. I'm just about to leave the house. Um, I'm going to be picking up Chloe, uh, and then we're going to be going to Aston Villa versus Arsenal. I'll do what I did last time. I'll get Dad to give me his thoughts on the uh, the match. But uh, at this precise moment, it's just me. I feel really lonely. But uh, it is what it is. Dad's on holiday. I hope he's having a good time. It's currently 9 o'clock. I am just about to leave the house to go to Chloe's. I'll get to her by about quarter to ten. Um, and we're going to get to Birmingham by hopefully about 11 o'clock. Because we've got to pick up our tickets. We've got to have some food. We're going to have to get into the ground. And we're going to watch our team win against Villa. It's going to be a really, really tough game. Obviously coming back off of a Liverpool uh, result on Wednesday. Only three days ago we lost, but it was a very, very good performance. If we play anything like that, I think we'll beat Villa today. But Villa, I'm scared of them. Coutinho, Danny Ings, Ollie Watkins, some top, top players in their, in their squad. But when you have Tyrone Mings in the defence, you know, you're always going to leak. So I'm expecting a goals. I'm expecting us to win just about. And you know what? I'm going to go for an Arsenal 3, Villa 1. I think that's how it's going to be. Erdegaard runs the match. I think uh, Smith Rowe is going to start. Lacquer is going to put in a good performance. But um, I'll get Chloe's predictions very soon. So join me on my trip to Birmingham. Aston Villa versus Arsenal. And again, as Martin Tyler would say, and it's live. Whoa! Look who's here! It's me! It's Chloe! It's me! It's Chloe. She's... um. She's been to two games. Two. Both ended 2-0. Yeah, yeah. One, one for us, one against us. So now we're on the four. So, the basically, what happened? What? Four against four. Yeah, so what happens is, basically, is this is like a best of three. <laughs> um, and if she loses, she's never coming again. So, I think it's going to be a tough game. We've had three games in uh, six days, and obviously... Villa, they've had a nice week break, so it's going to be, they're going to be fresh, we're going to be a bit tired, but we're the better team. Play predictions. 2-1 to Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, no, fuck Villa. Oh, sorry mum, sorry mum. Abuse her! Um, we just got, you know, we just got to watch out for Coutinho. Uh, and we'll be alright. She's a bit upset right now, um, and the best part is, is I could edit that out, but I'm not going to. Um, mummy, I love you, mummy. You look um, nice and brown, beautiful. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, we're we're on route. Uh, we're only about 31 minutes away from the Brummingham. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna park up. We're gonna get our tickets. We do not know how to use a motorway. You get over! We've already made one big mistake today. Um, we, I forgot my uh, my glasses. Uh, so I'm going to be rocking sunglasses all day. Oh, yeah. So get the hell in. It is a bright day. But I feel like if they're kicking the other end, I might not be able to see who the hell is shooting. Welcome to my world. So uh, there you go, guys. But um, the time. we're going to get the tickets. We're going to get into the game. Uh, we're going to hopefully win. And uh, yeah, big game for us because Tottenham have West Ham tomorrow. So a top four rivals, one of them's got one of them or both of them are going to drop points. So um, we've got a win. It's a big game. It's going to be a tough game, but we're here for it. It's me and Chloe on to uh, on to Villa, and uh, we'll see you up there. Best friends on tour. Gets up. Well, we've got six, six now, Nick. Yeah. What's 
she is. Unas on tour.
to sing it. I can't remember how it goes. She can't remember how it goes. Oh, look at her. She's, she, we had about a mile walk, so she's out of breath. Not anymore, because we're home, but... You can't see me. Yeah, you can. You probably will. I am in my home environment. I am in my pyjamas, under my... She's not naked, by the way. No, I'm in my pyjajays. She's in her pyjajays, but uh, the main thing is, is... uh, How did it go? What? Super... How did it go? I can't remember how it goes. We've got Super Super Mick Arteta. He knows exactly what we need. Tierney at the back. Gabby in attack. Arsenal on the way to Champions League. No. We've got Super Mick Arteta. He knows exactly what we need. Gabby at the... Oh, no. Tierney at the I still think it should be Gabby at the back for Gabrielle because I think Gabrielle's a beast. No, it should be Tierney at the back, Saka on attack. Why can't it be Gabby at the back, Saka in attack? Or Saka on the wing. <laughs> something, something string. Yeah. No, but there you go. Yeah, we were singing that all afternoon. Uh, it was a brilliant day out, to be fair. Lovely weather. Um, I think I might have burned it. Yeah, I think I might wake up tomorrow with a bit of a burn because the sun just didn't go. We were literally just... The, the sun was everywhere. Luckily, I had my hood up so I could... Um, block the sun because uh, the sunglasses weren't working um they're definitely not working at the moment because we're inside but uh, my glasses are away but yeah no the gooners um the gooners did really well Gooner. tough tough uh, tough tough game i thought you know on the back of that liverpool result would they be a bit down would they be knackered because they put everything into that liverpool game but no 75 minutes dominated the game played so so well um and then you could tell we had three games in six days because the last 10, last 15, we struggled a bit. Got Rob Olden on, went to five at the back. It wasn't pretty, but we did the job. And I want to bring out full props to Bird Leno. Uh, Coming for Ramsdale. Ramsdale was injured and put in a shift. Not the best. Every time I hoofed it up the park. Again. Oh, yes, his distribution was terrible. But what I'm on about is we used to... We used to um, moan at Leno because he wasn't quick enough with his distribution and he also wasn't commanding in his box but today he caught every corner he caught every cross the only one he didn't he punched far away so fair play but yeah we did miss Ramsdale's distribution a lot of times we were kicking it and they were winning it back but um he put in a solid performance made a really good save as well in the last kick of the game uh literally tapped it away from the player and then it hit Tierney so and then the ref blew his whistle and then uh, scenes because Mikel Arteta has taken us to Champions League. We're four points clear with a game in hand still. So that's massive. Tottenham versus West Ham tomorrow. Realistically, whatever result, that helps us. Draw would be much better. But uh, obviously I'm supporting West Ham because I don't like Tottenham. Simple as that. Chloe? Wiley. How'd you find it today? I really enjoyed myself. First away game. Wow, well, second first second, Premier League away game. First Premier League away game. First she she went game. she went um she went. The atmosphere is amazing, isn't it? It's pretty good. Though uh, what I didn't appreciate was standing in the queue at half time for like twenty five minutes, and all of these people were just like elbows out. I think one of them genuinely elbowed me in the team. Yeah, mate. Honestly, literally, <laughs> literally at half time, it's just who can get in the queue for a pint. But the really lovely lady in front of me. She bought me a water. So if you watch this, you probably don't, but if you do... What do you mean, KGF TV? He's massive! Thank you for buying me a nice bottle of water. Speaking I, of I, KGF I, TV, look at that. We've got KGF TV on there. I would just like to say, uh, I didn't know this, the Liverpool vlog has done really well. But I'm going to end it now because Nick's Nick here. Nick Ellis, come, come in so, Nick Ellis. Hello, Nick. Yeah. Cheltenham, I'll talk about Cheltenham. How did Cheltenham get on? Uh, crap for 80 minutes. Yeah, and, and then, then three, three goals. goals in 10 minutes. Alfie May. We were Alfie even Bay. booing them when Charlton were in a possession. We were booing, booing them when they were in possession because they were just literally passed it around a defence doing absolutely nothing with it. There you go. You got yourself mm. an Arsenal talk and a Cheltenham talk. But, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Anything else? Okay. Dad, over to you. You okay, Jack? And uh, everybody, welcome back to the not-so-sunny but warm Tenerife, Los Cristianos. I've uh, been down to the game today. I hope you and, uh, you and Chloe enjoyed yourselves today. Eventually got there, got the tickets. 
good enough and a 1-0 win. So thoughts on the game? I thought for the first 70 minutes, I thought we were by far the better team, looked comfortable. Stevie Gerrard made a couple of changes. Last 15 minutes, I thought we looked a bit leggy. Uh, Villa, Villa come on quite strong. I don't think they look like scoring. But, Mum, did you think they look like scoring? <sighs> Shame, really, because I, I do like Villa. They're a good team. But uh, now, just um, I think it looked a bit like us needs uh, need a decent striker. But uh, yeah, thoughts on the game? I thought we were by far the better team in the first 70, 75, and then obviously Villa. A couple of changes, like I said. Uh, I think we missed Martinelli. Yeah, Martin Ellis Pace, I think we missed. Uh, I thought Leno had done a good job, save at the end. Would it have gone in? I don't think so. I don't think Villa looked like scoring all day, to be honest, but there you go. Um, I thought Smith had a good game. I thought Party was man of the match for us. Well, he was man of the match, I think, Party. Uh, Lacquer, a lot of running. Um, should have squared it, we could have gone 2 0 up, but that's, that's what it is. And uh, a 1 0 win. Three points, four points above the rest, upwards and onwards to Crystal Palace. So uh, there you go. Yeah, guys, that is it for the vlog. If you have enjoyed, make sure you, uh, you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for the support on the uh, the Liverpool vlog. Let's see if we can get just as much support on this one because uh, it was a big, big result, this one. Um, thank you, Dad, for your talk. Um, I don't know how it went, haven't seen it yet, but, uh, you know, it's a win, you can't really moan. Um, how do we think about the new song? Uh, I really, really enjoyed it on the night. Before I do end the vlog, I just want to show you guys something. Uh, I didn't see this when I was screaming and celebrating like mad, but, um, I've got the highlights up here. And, um, can we just see how, how funny this, this failed knee slide into a flip Look how stylish Saka is here. Failed knee slide. Whoopsie. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, fair play to Saka. What a game he had. Great goal. Uh, just smashes it low. Keeper can't get there. Um, defended so well. I think they gave uh, Erdegaard man of the match. Uh, I would have given it to, to Party or, or Gabriella White, one of the defenders. Because, you know, I watch uh, like Villa highlights before the game. And I see most of their goals come from them just booting it over the top to Wally Watkins. He's so strong, he chests it down, finds a player. But today, mate, every time they booted it forward, if it wasn't Gabriel, it was White defending so well, one-on-one -on -one against Watkins. So strong, so quick. We've got two sensational, sensational centre-backs in our team. And I mean, like, I don't want to be mean or anything, but they're making Cedric look really, really good. And uh, obviously Cedric isn't, you know, he's definitely our weakest player. But he's putting in some great shifts. He got a bit beaten a few times um, today. But he's putting in some really good shifts whilst Tommy Asu's out. But hopefully Tommy Asu should be back uh, after this uh, this England break or international break. Um, but yeah, superb match. Great performance. And uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said before, subscribe, comment, share, turn the notification bell on so you're notified when we upload. No one's here to go ding, 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 ding. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next week. Dad will be back for Premier League predictions and well, there won't be a vlog, will there? Because it's um, international break. So I don't know when the next vlog's going to be. Crystal Palace away. We've already got our tickets for that. So looking forward to that game. That's going to be another tough one. But again, if we can get ourselves a win in that game, then uh, it will be a massive, massive four points clear at the top with a game in hand and Tottenham and West Ham to face each other tomorrow. We are looking very good for top four. And playing how we're playing, I can see us getting it. Tuesday and Wednesday nights back at the Emirates. And imagine international vlogs. Imagine us going to Bayern Munich as a vlog. How sick would that be? I'm really excited for the future of this Arsenal team. Fair play to Mikel Arteta. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video and we'll see you all very soon for another one. Dad, what should they do? And um, Just one last thing to say. Uh, you'll stay safe there. Come on, you gunners.